Hello there. Previously, you learned about the basics of digital marketing, what a search engine is, and how it works. And today, I'll get into the main topic of our course, Search Engine Optimization, or SEO. Off we go. Before I teach you how SEO works and how to do it, let's first go over the basics of SEO. Then we can dive into the benefits of website optimization, what it consists of, and when you should optimize your website. Before starting, let's look at what a user is doing when they submit a search query in Google. They're looking for the solution to a problem or the answer to a question, and they're asking Google to provide the best solution. Obviously, you want Google to present your web page as the best solution to its user's problem. So, SEO is the art and science of persuading search engines such as Google, Bing, and Yahoo to recommend your content to their users as the best solution to their problem. Now, what does a user see after submitting a search query on Google? They see advertisements, images, videos, and aside from that, a list of about 10 sites on each page. When we see the first search engine results page, or SERP, we click on one of the options and go to the selected website. As a rule, we're more likely to click on results that are at the top of the page without going through the rest of the websites in that page. Thus, the top 10 search results on that first page get the lion's share of traffic. How can you make your website appear on the first page right at the top of those results? That's what SEO, or search engine optimization, is for. To understand how optimization works, you need to know how search engines select resources from a variety of similar pages and how they determine your rank. And of course, you need to be able to apply this knowledge correctly. Now, why is SEO so very important? The main benefit of SEO is getting free traffic from Google as opposed to paid traffic. This free traffic is also referred to as organic or natural search traffic. Importantly, the websites that don't have a small ad badge at the top left of their listing on Google SERP usually get more traffic and more conversions. That's why the goal of SEO is to make the site visible to users in the natural and not the paid for results for a given search query. Traffic is affected by various factors, the popularity of goods and services, the size of the region, and many others. But all other things being equal, websites that rank higher on Google will almost certainly get more traffic. Note that search engines are focused on their own users, and they aim at providing those users with the best possible experience. So to determine which page will appear on the first page of the search results, Google considers not only the relevance of the web page to the search query, but also many other factors that will help make the experience of Google's users on Google search results as positive and rewarding as possible. Each search engine has its own algorithms to evaluate and rank websites. These algorithms include multiple metrics and are constantly updated, making it impossible for webmasters to attain and maintain high rankings without keeping up to date with emerging trends and changes. By keeping your ear to the ground and understanding how the search engine algorithms are evolving, it's possible for you to understand what you can usefully do to maximize your chances of ranking top and staying there by adjusting your site and SEO strategies accordingly. For now, let's single out several of the most important ranking factors. These are content relevance, which stands for how well the information on a web page corresponds to a search query. Number two, credibility, which measures how well your site meets the recommendations of search engines and how well it's likely to perform in search results. High credibility is a green light for search engines. Generally, this term refers to a combination of internal and external criteria. For example, how fast your website loads, how well it works on mobile devices, how many quality backlinks you have, and many, many others. We'll discuss all the most popular factors that affect ranking in detail in the following lessons. That's all for the SEO basics. Let's now move on to the benefits of search engine optimization. So what are the benefits of SEO? The first advantage is great visibility. The better your website is optimized, the better visibility it will have in search results, and the more your potential customers will see it. Another plus is organic traffic. Here is a delightful golden rule. First, 
you work for SEO. Then SEO works for you. Just like with other digital marketing channels, SEO can be expensive and time consuming. But when you do everything right, all the efforts will eventually pay off and the website will start receiving natural organic traffic. The next advantage is that SEO gets long-term results. When you get your site to the top, you still have to maintain and improve it. However, the advantage of working with SEO as opposed to using PPC ads is that you will continue to get traffic to your website long-term with very little investment necessary. And the last benefit is better website quality. Google, Bing and Yahoo take into account tens of thousands of factors and weight them based on the overall importance of each to SEO. But remember, the aim of these search engines is to best serve their users. So their algorithms are built with the aim of promoting websites, web pages and content that best serves their user. Therefore, by improving your website for search engines, you are actually improving it for the users as well. High quality content, crawlability and speed, adaptability for different types of devices, on-page user experience, all of these are components of the best SEO practices. As you can see, search engine optimization is one of the most important and effective traffic channels and also a strategy that helps you to improve experience for your own users too. But it's important to bear in mind that it's not a magic bullet and not a one-size-fits-all solution for all websites. So, when should you use SEO techniques? SEO is a long-term game. Getting to the first page of the search engine results won't happen overnight or even in a week. If you're planning to maintain your website for a long time and you're sure that your products and services will continue to be relevant in the months and years to come, then you can use SEO. On the other hand, there are situations when it's better not to invest in SEO and use other channels instead. For example, if you want to launch temporary projects such as a specific event or a flash sale on a product you stock only temporarily, or if you want to test new products or launch a startup company, and finally, don't opt for SEO if you have a tight deadline and an obligation to quickly generate traffic to your website. In these cases, it's better to use channels that will bring traffic in the short term like Google Ads or social media campaigns. We've learned when to use SEO. Now let's look at its main components. We often separate SEO into two parts, on-page and off-page optimization. As the name suggests, on-page SEO is all about improving the website from the inside, and off-page SEO comes down to working with external resources such as getting backlinks to your website. Let's take a closer look at on-page SEO. First of all, on-site SEO is about your website performance. So it's crucial for webmasters to consider image file sizes on their pages, reduce redirects, improve the mobile responsiveness of their site, and minimize the amount of CSS and JavaScript. The second component is content quality and structure. Make sure that the content on your pages is relevant and engaging for your audience, contains the search terms they actually use, as well as quality relevant images and videos. Other components include internal linking, title tags, meta descriptions, alt text, etc. Now, off-page SEO. There are many, many strategies for off-page SEO, such as social media marketing, third-party reviews, brand marketing, and so on, which I'll discuss in future lessons. But one of the core strategies you should be aware of for off-page SEO is maintaining a well-structured backlink profile, which means getting relevant authoritative sites to link to your site. Search engines analyze the quality and number of backlinks pointing to your website, which positively impacts the credibility of your content, your website, and your brand, all of which helps to boost your rankings. Now, a quick conclusion for this lesson. SEO is one of the main and the most effective digital marketing channels to promote your website and sell your products or services. Once you figure out how to apply your knowledge, you'll be well on your way to earning your first results. Ranking higher, getting more traffic, and hopefully increasing your sales. That's all for today. I hope you've learned a few things about SEO and you're ready to move on to the next lesson where I'll take a closer look at how search engines see and understand your website. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.